Hey, how are you doing? So today I come back with another video, and today is a very special occasion because today uh, is the first cigarette review that I'll be doing on the channel as I race towards the 1,000 subscriber mark, uh, which I'll be hitting very soon on the channel. So uh, today I'm reviewing the Marlboro Red, and of course Marlboro Red is the most famous and iconic cigarette in the world. Uh, nearly anyone on the planet uh, knows Marlboro Red, and just that it's an American cigarette. It's the most classic American cigarette of all time. Uh, and yeah, just the brand in general, Marlboro is the most iconic, iconic uh, cigarette brand of all time. And yeah, what do we think about when we think about Marlboro Red? Is of course that classic packaging, right? The red ribbon, uh, the red ribbon with the white background, uh, with that classic Marlboro font uh, with the name on it. Uh, Marlboro cigarettes. And uh, talking about packaging, uh, let's take a look at the packaging of this pack of cigarettes, uh, which is. Uh, when taking a look at the front of the package, you can just clearly see a bloke dying in a hospital bed with his morning girlfriend uh, right beside him. Uh, it looks uh, that uh, yeah, it looks to me that uh, he's having a very bad time indeed. Looks like his days are counted. When taking a look at the top of the package, you can just see the name Marble Red, and the same for the bottom. Uh, and when taking a look at the back of the package, you can just clearly see that dead bloke. Uh, with his girlfriend and I think it's just time to maybe it's uh, the uh, time to just pull the plug and accept your fate but who am I to uh, <laughs> to uh, give advice on such moral dilemmas right uh, on the side of the packaging you just can clearly see the Belgian tax stamp with nine euros on it because uh, that is the price uh, of a Marlboro Reds uh, on this date it's nine euros and they actually increased the tobacco Prices or the cigarette prices even more, uh, which wasn't wasn't actually necessary, but they did it anyway because yeah, that is just uh, how my government works, right? Uh, nothing I can do about that. And of course, these cigarettes are made by Philip Morris. Philip Morris, is, of course, uh, the cigarette manufacturer. Anyway, uh, let's open this up. So let's open up the cellophane. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, it used to be like around the thing, the. This edge right here, but now it's around the middle parts. They changed it because actually, like seven years ago, how many years ago would it be since I lost smoke the Marlboro Red? I'm actually quite serious. Uh, serious. I'm actually quite curious about how they taste, and uh, it used to have like a different foil. Ah, uh, so yeah, let's just take that. So it's it's of course all standardized because I think since 2020 uh, we have neutral packaging in Belgium, which is actually isn't necessary. According to EU regulations, you can just have like 20% of the packaging is still uh, for tobacco marketing. Uh, but, our, uh, but Belgium uh, decided to um, <laughs> yeah, to introduce neutral packaging, which wasn't necessary at all. Uh, and when taking a look at the packaging, you, you just have a, a normal cigarette because, of course, neutral packaging laws... Um, yeah, neutral packaging laws uh, also... Uh, say that you can't have the name of tobacco companies or the cigarette brands on a cigarette so it's just completely naked cigarette because of course if I see that cigarette brand on the cigarettes I'm of course being brainwashed because I don't have any like agency over my own decision making as a person according to the European Union but uh, anyway um, taking a smell of the cigarette Yeah, just very rich and kind of bold uh, smell coming off the cigarette. Yeah, very nice. But without further ado, uh, let's um, light up the Marlboro Reds. And uh, yeah, let's smoke this iconic cigarette again after seven years. I now, I found out that I now forgot my ashtray. So I'm, I'm just going to grab that. Okay, I got the ashtray, so that's very nice. Um, okay, let's get a feel for this cigarette. Not bad actually so far. Um, what can I remember from Marlboro Red when I used to smoke? I didn't buy Marlboro Reds. I was never a Marlboro Red smoker uh, because in my opinion, they're just way too bold uh, and I like a more sweeter cigarette. And it, the flavor is very nice, but they're just too bold of a cigarette for my uh, preference. And 
And again, that's what I'm getting. Uh, just not inhaling, just only tasting the smoke. Because uh, when smoking cigarettes and I want to get a feel for the cigarette, for the taste, I don't inhale. I just first just uh, let it rest on my palate so I can just check out the flavor. It's just way easier that way. And um, uh, what I'm getting is just that, again, that very bold Marlboro taste. It's very iconic. And I, I, um, I've i seen a lot of reviews on the Marlboro and everyone say, uh, says that over and over again, that Marlboro just has a very iconic taste it's just a very signature tobacco taste um and inhaling just it goes down very smooth well not very smooth actually just it it does have some kick and even for a european cigarette because we, we can only have like one milligram of uh, one milligram of nicotine 10, 10 milligram of 10 milligrams of tar i mean uh it, it still has a decent kick because I uh, smoke uh, other kinds of cigarettes or roll my own and they have a stronger kick. But uh, this Marlboro cigarette, well, very, very nice so far, but very bold indeed. Yeah, so far, not bad, not bad. Just very bold, a very rich tobacco taste. Uh, and I kind of expected that because it's a Marlboro um, uh, it was in fact the first cigarette I ever smoked as a teenager, uh, after school, um, there was someone smoking in my class and I, and I, I thought, yeah, let, why, why not smoke, a, uh, why not smoke a cigarette, right? So this was, this was my first introduction to smoking as well, uh, which is, uh, uh common for many people. Many people smoke Marlboro Reds because they are so common, uh, because they are so popular and back then it was like 2014, 2015, you can still have that uh, packaging, so uh, everyone uh, recognized that red packaging, of course, that red ribbon on top, so. But it is actually surprisingly smooth going down. Uh, I thought it would be way, way harsher. Um, but it's actually doable, so uh, I really didn't expect that. Um, And just for taste, really bold, really bold, really iconic Marlboro uh, signature flavor, uh, Marlboro Red flavor. I mean, it's not a bad cigarette. I don't hate the Marlboro Reds. I think there are just better options on the market today. But in Belgium, we don't really have like a wide range of cigarettes we can you can smoke. We have Kent, we have Camel, we have Marlboro, we have L M's. But I think Marlboro Red is just it. It is the most. Um, yeah, it's not the most. It's, it's the best. Um, choice you can make for cigarettes in Belgium because um, it delivers a quite, quite well, uh, it delivers a very good nicotine hit, uh, unlike other cigarettes actually, because they are just way too light. You can ju you just can't smoke any light cigarettes in Europe because they are just way too light, especially as an American if you come here to Europe. Just pick full flavored, full, uh, full flavored cigarettes. Uh, they, will, they are like the medium cigarettes in the US. But flavor-wise, not bad. No harshness, no chemical taste. Just a quality Class A cigarette, really. Uh, which I expected, because it's Marlboro Red. It's, uh, it's like um, quality, uh, quality smoke. And of course, for that price, 9 euros, it's definitely not a budget cigarette. It's way, it's up there in the higher range, uh, higher price range of cigarettes here um, in Europe. But a very nice nicotine hit, a very nice nicotine hit. And very nice, very smooth going down as well. Um, no harshness, no chemical taste. Just a very nice cigarette actually overall. And uh, we're getting near the end of the cigarette, so let's do a body. Very nice smoke reduction of the Marlboro Red, of course. It's a full flavored cigarette, you can expect that. And flavor. A very nice flavor. So let's get into the rating of uh, the Marlboro Reds. Uh, what will I rate the, the iconic Marlboro Red? I'm going to rate the Marlboro Red a nine out of 10 actually. The flavor is on point. It's very smooth going, going down. 
Uh, there's no harshness, no chemical taste. It is very bold. It's too bold for my liking, but it's just a very good flavor. It's a very iconic taste. It's a very iconic Marlboro taste that everyone enjoys. For and they are very and Marlboro Reds are very popular for a reason because they just deliver a very good nicotine hit. They deliver a very good taste. Um, they're very bold. So if you like that, this is a great option. So uh, that was my review on Marlboro Reds, this classic cigarette. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next review. Cheers. Take care.